It's first Friday at Lutzenheiser's Jewelry in Stevensville. Singer-guitarist Tyler Decker performs before a relaxed audience, wrapping up a week of work to enjoy some downtime. Kate Lutzenheiser invites all kinds of artists to her shop. She and her late husband, Robert Lutzenheiser, started First Friday 23 years ago. To have a place that wasn't a bar, a church, or a school where people could come together and visit and socialize. It caught on and grew. For me, it's part of my heart. First Friday is a chance for artists to showcase their work, but it isn't just about art. It's a chance for people to just get together. This town has been very supportive of me and Robert, especially during his illness and his death. And I feel that this is something I can do, provide for the town. Robert Lutzenheiser died in June of 2021. Robert and Kate started their jewelry making shop in Stevensville in 1989. Well, he was a master caster. It's uh, one of the most ancient forms of silversmithing. Kate says Robert was a genius at all phases of silversmithing, molding, mold cutting, and fabrication. When they started 30 some years ago, Kate says silversmithing was new to her. Over the years, I showed interest and he would start teaching me. And towards the end, we were very much equal partners. They were married close to 40 years. It was overwhelming to not have him because we were together every moment of every day. And this was pretty overwhelming to think, Am I, can I do this by myself? Well, that's my bench and this is Robert's bench. It took her about a month to even go back into the workshop they shared. Their benches no. were side by side and Kate found she needed to use some of the tools in Robert's space. So I'm fumbling and trying to do this and I hear his voice as clear as anything, just use my bench. <laughs> and I said, I'm not ready. But then Kate says she heard Robert laugh. Which is what he would have done. And I knew I could do this because he was going to be with me. What he taught me, I absorbed a lot more than I thought I had. Moving forward without her husband is still hard, but Kate is now back to work. She makes wax impressions of these peace signs for earrings or pendants. Converting those wax items into silver is a complex layered procedure. Kate takes us through the whole process, but we'll skip ahead to the final steps where the silversmith unveils the magic. Shining silver, there's your peace sign. He was a wonderful teacher. Kate is now learning skills that Robert used to do on his own, like mold cutting, which can be dangerous because it requires skilled use of a scalpel. And he didn't want me to do it. But for me to move forward and to do new things, I had to learn to do it. And I did it. And once again, with the little voice with me. On Robert's bench sits a tray of unfinished jewelry. Robert's projects that he was unable to finish. These are the forged pieces that he was a master at. Robert left tons of sketches, plans that never saw fruition. Kate made them reality. Learning how to cut the molds was part of that, getting me to that point. I hope to do more of these because they are so him, the level of his artistic ability. I want to be able to share that. Like silver making, it's all a process. As the meme goes, coming in broke, body broken, done, wrung out. And I see Robert and he holds me and he says, well done, Cato, well done. Kate says one of Robert's greatest sculptures was First Friday, where he could share his artistry with his community in the town he loved. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.